I need purser. Let's go. Today is a video about hair extensions. I've been wanting hair extensions for two years, guys. And I've finally got them done. And I'm going to tell you everything. No BS. Got questions that have popped down that I wanted to know. Just to make this video a bit more structured. And I've got timestamps down below. So, how much did it cost? So, let's start off with that big question because everyone wants to know how much it costs. So, my hair to fit the hair um, and everything included, it was 570. So, my hair was pricey, beauty works that I, I ended up getting. Um, there's mixed reviews, I know, but I've not had any issues with this hair whatsoever. My hair lady charges 120 to fit the hair. You've just got to think about the price includes your hair, so you buy your own hair. You've got to fit, like the fitting cost, she's shearing out your hair, so she's thinning out your hair, she's blending it in and she's styling it after. So 570 and then every time I went back to her, so this is the second time I got it fitted by the way, because I forgot to film it the first time I got it fitted, so I want to show you what it looks like fresh in the hair. If I've literally forgot to mention anything or if you've got any questions, put in the comments below. 120 the second time I got it fitted, so that's the fitting price. Fitting prices are different depending on how much hair you've got to pop in your head. So, how much did you have? So this is, I originally had 150 grams. I'll show you the before and after, just because everyone wants to see the before and afters. This is my hair before. You can see, it's a short bob. I was very aware that I had a short bob, it was very blunt. I was like, how the hell am I gonna get hair extensions that actually blend into my hair? After, fantastic, looks beautiful. 150 grams. Now, the reason why I chose 150 grams is because I honestly thought my hair is that blunt. I need more hair to blend in. It just made sense to me. I've had hair extensions, clipping hair extensions before, and they, they were 200 grams. And I was thinking, mm, but I honestly believe these are thicker than hair extensions. The way they're laid, they feel a lot thicker than hair extensions. Like, I ended up taking 40 strands out and in each pack, so in each pack there's 50 grams of hair. So I ended up taking 40 out and there's 60 strands in each pack I believe. So I probably took out most of one pack and it was all, all the dark colour. So I probably have like 115 grams in my hair or 120 in the max. I don't think I need more than that. I think it looks more natural. I wanted to go for a natural look to where it just looks like it's coming out the root of my hair. I wanted it to be very natural. I feel like before it was it was too thick and it didn't necessarily feel heavy. It just, the thickness of it, it just felt thick. Put it in a bubble like this and like that's thick anyways. That's quite thick, it feels really thick, but I, Imagine another like 30 grams of hair, like it just felt like I had a horse tail as a ponytail, like it was so thick and I just, I could not get used to it at all. I do have brunette hair so it is going to look thicker so just bear that in mind. What colours did I go for? So I've got Beauty Works and I've got Stick Tips which sounds horrendous, I know. It's not the ones that actually glue in your hair, it's the ones that are like, the literally just take some pliers and I've got tiny tips as well so my hairdressers is tiny tips rather than like micro beads. Micro beads are smaller but the, um, not the tiny tips, the flat tips, they just are what they are, they're flat to your head, you cannot see them, like they're so discreet, like it's like when you put hair extensions in like clipping ones you can just see the bulkiness, this literally is so flat to my head, it's so easy to disguise, like you just you can't really see it, which <laughs> is what I wanted. So the colours I got, I got two packs of Raven, which is, I'll just look on the website, two packs of Raven, which is $103.99, one pack of Bronbre, I think it's called. So one pack of those, and that is $167.99, so 100 and, 168 basically. To dive in, I knew if I thought about it too much, that I would literally just go back and be like, I can't spend that much money on hair. I thought, do you know what? I need to just stop it and treat myself. Like I don't get nails done, don't get my lashes done. I don't get anything really done. So I thought, do you know what? I've wanted hair extensions for two years now. This is crazy. I've not been on a holiday for like two years because 2020, obviously no one went in 2021. So I thought, 
I would have spent that money on holiday anyways, I would just spend it. Oh, and she actually put highlights in my hair. So all this down here, you can see I've got like lighter bits in. This isn't my hair, like so this up here, this is my hair. Bear in mind, she has thinned it out and it's grown out the tiniest bit. So the end of my hair is not blonde at all. So she's managed to give me highlights without ruining my hair. The blonde braid color is like an ombre, so it is darker at the tip. So I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but it is slightly darker at the root and then it goes lighter. So even like if you see one of the tips like slightly in my hair, it doesn't look like I've just got blonde up here. So she's done an amazing job blending it in. The type of hair, like I said, I got stick tips, which are basically, I'll zoom you guys in. This is what they look like. So she's set some of my hair off. Stick tips look like this. Now it looks a lot crazier than it actually is. So it literally is just like with a flat tip she's put them on with. They're really flat to my head, you can hardly see them, but that is what they'll look like in my hair. And she does put them up quite far up, just because I do want them to blend it as easy as possible. And I just want it to look really, really nice. But yeah, so that is what they look like, guys. So they're really discreet still. So I would definitely recommend getting flat tips and not microbeads. Flat tips are a tiny bit longer, but again, they are just flat to your head. Can you just see? If it just flat to your head, it just makes it 10 times easier to blend in. It doesn't look like you've got hair extensions up here whatsoever. You can see how easy it just looks like my actual hack. So 100% recommend getting these over tapes. I originally wanted to get tapes um, and she put me off from getting tapes because she told me like about the glue and everything. She, she's like, you don't want glue in your hair. They slip and slide. You can't wash your hair for the first two, three days. These are just easier in general. I was going to get tapes and she convinced me to get these and I'm so, so glad I did. Even though there's more and it's like loads of little ones, you can't really like feel the hair and you can do this. So I can still put my fingers through my hair very easily, like with no struggle whatsoever. So it's very accessible. You can move your hair around with tapes. Like obviously they're very they're very wide, so it's like gives you limitations. But packs on my, I already told you about that. So packs, I got three packs, 150 grams, but I will get 100 grams next time I buy new hair. How long did it take? So it took her around three and a half hours, I would say. So, and she takes the time, which I prefer people to take the time. You're paying for the, for the service at the end of the day. You don't want them to be rushing it. And with the placement and stuff, I remember the first time she put them in, she was like obviously strategically placing the hairs to where I looked like I had highlights. So she's done again an amazing job of blending. Like I've obviously never gone to anybody else, but like you can just see for yourself how easy it blends in. The most thing I was like really worried about was the top layer because I feel like I just don't want that block and then going into extensions. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be able to see a line and then my extensions. So the way she's blended it in is just insane. Like, he, it literally looks like it's growing out of my scalp. The only thing is, obviously, this doesn't bother me though, that you can see like the short bit at the front there, but like, people have short hair at the front anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, my hair does flick up a tiniest bit here, you can see that, but it's literally just a case of brushing the hair, but it's just so easy. I can put my hair behind my ears. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. So I expected it to feel heavy. It does not feel heavy. How it would feel in my hair, basically, I'd describe it as like, it's a bit tender at the moment because when it's fresh, it like pulls at your hair. So it's a bit like, oh, but I can feel them if I, if I touch my head, but I can't really feel them if I'm not touching my head. So I hope that makes sense. Like you can't really notice them that much. They are fresh and you can see, like if I put my hair in a low pony, you, you can't see them whatsoever. So I can put my hair in a low pony or just slightly higher. I feel like they're just so, so easy. I've heard so many people complain about the hair extensions. I feel like I've just had like the easiest experience. And I'm so glad I went to my lady because she just, like I've paid, like a good price, I don't think it's ridiculously overpriced when you actually think about it, 
you just pay for the hair and the hair lasts ages. I think like I've got what I wanted out of this. So that's why I'm like, I 100% think it's worth the money. Go to someone, have your consultation. Because if I never have a consultation, I'd just go to someone and have tapes in and I'd probably hate it. She actually explained to me and she actually she literally sat me down and she's like, no, I don't have tapes. Honestly, these are so much better. I'll be honest with you. So prepping for hair extensions, wash your hair because you don't want to have to wash your hair for a couple of days after you get fitted because it just makes it easier. Makes your hair actually apply easier. If you think about it, if you've got fresh hair and no oils in your hair, really, the the tip is just gonna like what she puts it on like the, the flat tip is just gonna really secure onto your hair so it's not gonna loosen or anything like that wash your hair make sure you put a hair mask on it because these feel so soft now put it like honestly I thought oh my god it feels like fresh hair and obviously it is still fresh but like I've, I've worn them for like six weeks and they feel like brand new still so take care of your hair. I'd say I put like a hair mask in it probably once a week. Before refitting these hair extensions, I made sure that I sectioned them off from lower, medium, medium high, and then the highest layer, so she could put them in again. So the bottomless layer is gonna be the shortest, the top layer is gonna be the longest, because you wouldn't expect your hair extension down here to be the same length as up here. After getting them put in, so no one told me about the headaches. She told me who fitted him. She went for the first 48 hours. It will feel very tight. And it won't feel really tight until you're gonna to go to bed. So I can't really feel it as much now. It is obviously I can feel a tiny bit tightness compared to like when just my natural hair on its own. But like when I went to sleep, the first two nights sleeping, I will tell you this, you won't have a nice rest. You won't have a good sleep the first few nights because when you put pressure on the points of like where the tiny tips are. You just feel all the little like hairs pulling, but not in a way that they're gonna obviously ruin your hair. It's just sensitivity. And that's all I will say. I feel like no one warned me about this, like the sensitivity of like the hair. It's pulling the hair together and it's obviously tight. So you can't, your hair can't move around freely as much as it can because you've got all these little tips in and when they are tighter, they're close to your root and they don't really move around that much. So when you lay on it, oh my God, just make sure you get a comfortable position. Last time I like laid on this part of my face here. So I don't want to put my hair, like any tension on my hair. You cannot lay on your back at all hardly, but saying that, the second time I got on fitted, because I've had less in, I feel like there's less at the back here. The first time I got on fitted, like that part of my back, like the back of my head there, it's like the lower part of your head at the back. Oh my God, it was so tight feeling. But I think it's more like the mid region this time. I think it's probably the way she placed the hair this time, so I've got less hair. Yeah, you will get headaches. So take paracetamol. How long do they last? So I took mine out when it was five and a half weeks. So I could probably say I could last mine for like six weeks. So they say six to eight weeks, it depends on how fast your hair grows and if it falls out, the hair's like the little tips, if one of those falls out and then they keep falling out kind of thing. If you're not taking care of your hair or like if your hair's thinner, it might fall out quicker rather than it's thicker. But I had no problem, like not one fell out of my head, not one. I'd say about six weeks, your hair's growing, it obviously slides down. So at the moment, because it's fresh, the tip is right, see, it's just a little bit of a gap. And then the longer your hair grows, the longer you leave it, it starts, starts to slowly grow out your hair. So obviously this will go lower and lower and lower. So you'll be, it'll be hard to disguise them when it's lower and lower, basically. It'll, it might start like, like up here and it'll go down to here. And the longer the strand and then like you have a lot, so that's your hair and then your tiny tips down here instead of being up here. You're gonna see it more, it's not gonna be as, disguised. How long the hair lasts, it just depends on how well you take care of it. Some people can get bad batches of hair. I know that people sometimes have not said the best things about Beauty Works hair, but like I've not had any problems whatsoever. I honestly just, it just makes me think like, I probably think you probably have to have more maintenance for bleached hair because obviously it is bleached hair. Um, 
with anything bleached hair is more damaged than darker hair just is what it is so you've got to probably take more care of it moisturize it more put oil in it every single day kind of thing but i just put oil in every now and then i don't put it in every day i use olaplex oil i know you're supposed to use a beauty works one but i really don't because i've already got the olaplex one so i just thought i'll just put that in every now and then if it's really dry i don't put hair oil in if it's sunny outside because it feels like a crisp i did that once to my natural hair put hair oil in and then i went outside and it, it literally when it was sunny all day my hair felt crispy i was like oh i'm not doing that again i put hair mask in like every week leave it for half an hour so it's nice and moisturized because obviously it is dead hair so you want to take care of your dead hair <laughs> in my experience day to day with this hair oh my god there's a car <sighs> what the hell I didn't let the dogs out <laughs> so my day, daily experience with this hair I actually need like I don't think it's that hard to curl whatsoever and daily experience so when it comes to blending in hair if you don't brush your hair seems a bit obvious to say if you don't brush your hair it's not going to blend in and if you've got naturally curly hair and the, this hair is not naturally curly you're going to have to straighten it to blend in like I don't know what else to say other than like just take your time to blend it in. Some days it'll not blend in because if you haven't gone to blend it and it won't blend in, like you have to go to blend it in still. I'll just show you the back of my head. Back of my head, back of my hair. Um, <laughs> so this is the back. So I can see if it's, it, I don't know if it is blending or blend, not blending in. I haven't blended it in today, but obviously it is fresh and I've brushed it. I always brush my hair, I brush my hair quite a lot. This, my, my, I feel like it's blended in because I feel like I can feel it. I, I always go to feel it and then I was in like a mirror behind me kind of thing. But if it's not blended in, like it's mainly the top layer to get some extension, you get some hair straighteners and just straighten it down. You can see that's my natural hair length there. But like I said, at the front, it doesn't really bother makes people have layers in and stuff. You just have to learn how to put your hair in a bubble and stuff. Like you just, I can have sleek back hair still. In a bubble and like if I try to do it now so you've just got to learn how to place the hair to still cover the tiny tips and you can just like move around the hair a little bit like you can see that you can't really see anything so like you can have really nice sleek hair still it's just experimenting with your hair and seeing how it goes but I've not had an, much trouble to be fair my experience with washing them so the first time I washed them I heard so many people complain about when it comes to washing your hair and I had when I first washed them I had 150 grams in and it does feel heavy when you wash your hair you're like oh and it like takes you back because the hair like it just soaks up all the water I will say that. I didn't expect that though but like yeah you, you've got so much hair you wet it it's heavy it becomes heavy and I washed my hair, I was probably a, a little demonstration, but basically I washed my hair like this and I had it like wet and like set like this and then I really shampoo the top of it, like really get in and then I'd be more careful with underneath and sometimes I'd literally section my hair off like this and then wet the, this part and then go in between my shampoo and stuff. I did not use the Beauty Works shampoo, my hair lady, if she hears that, she'll be like, oh for God's sake. I didn't, I didn't do it. I used, what should I use? The Red Ken shampoo. Um, and I've been using just what's in the house. <laughs> you shouldn't use a shampoo that's got sulfates in it because it's damaging to the hair and that's all I'll say, but I've not been using the shampoo. It doesn't lamber up and I know it's not supposed to lamber up. That's the sulfates in the shampoo, but oh, it's stressful when you shampoo doesn't lamber up, but I just use a little bit and I literally just work it in and I'll just be like, like this is what I'll do, I'll do it with shampoo, like I'll just be a lot softer and I'll just take my time a little bit longer, it doesn't take that long to wash actually, um, and just make sure you don't get the conditioner up to the tip or it will make it slip down and it might come off quicker so I'll probably put shampoo, like conditioner from there downwards and that's about it. Sometimes I'll put a tiniest bit up here just to soften like my little baby hairs because I've got little coarse baby hairs. So the first time I dried my hair it took me 30 minutes to dry my hair. I sectioned it off from, I think I think I sectioned it off like four or five times. And just did it like that because you've got to make sure the tip of the hair is 
dry if not it'll matte and you don't want matted hair so you've got to make sure you're not just drying your hair like this you want to make sure you are sectioning off as, as much as possible it takes you less time when you section your hair off as well so i know half an hour sounds like a lot to dry your hair but you wash your hair like once or twice a week because like that's what you're supposed to do anyways with like hair extensions you don't want to wash them constantly or it will dry the hair out because it is dead hair but i didn't think it was actually that bad I just thought I expected it to take longer and it took longer. So if you want hair, you've just got to do the maintenance. It's it's honestly getting used to the maintenance. So I'm just inserting this video because I'm going to show you my battered ass hair. So you've got hair extensions. It is what it is. The weather was red hot. It's been like 30, 31 degrees for like one to two days, three days, no, four days in a row now. I have been out, have been to the seaside, and even though I didn't get like wet in my hair as much, I got a little bit, but like not too much. Um, it's a, it's battered, and it's been almost how long has it been since Wednesday I washed it? So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four, four, five days since I washed it. But as you can see, it's absolutely battered. For and afters of using the hair mask because there's not a lot left but I'll have to cut it open but the beauty works restore mask I'm going to be ordering the bigger version of this but you can just see like I can like feel how greasy and grim my hair is <laughs> so you can just see this is before as you can see it doesn't look the best condition let's use this and I'll show you the after so I've just washed my hair and straightened it so you can see the difference and it feels so smooth it's not it doesn't feel as smooth when she first put it in i don't think but i did keep it on for like an hour that time um and it's not 100 percent blended in because i've not really like oh <laughs> took my time straightening it i've just strained it very quickly but i feel like the first time she fits it, it blends in the easiest but there's no like line at the back i don't think no, it's all right. It's like obviously I could blend it in. So yeah, it looks lovely. And now it's nice and moisturised. So you can just see the difference in the hair. It's completely different. So I highly, highly recommend that mask, guys. So she told me when I first got unfitted in that there might like 10 to 15 strands of hair might fall out. I didn't have one fall out. So products I would recommend there's probably more products than this and like curling ones and stuff like if you are wanting long hair for a very long like a whole year you want the hair fit constantly i would recommend getting the beauty works curling one the ones really long because obviously like the longer it is the easier it is to like wave your hair rather than the curling ones are normally like that long and that's that long but the products i would 100 recommend i could not live without this brush so this is a brush that will go over your tips so the tips of the hair, it won't pull at them at all because if you get a normal hairbrush, it will get in between the little, so it'll get in between, I'm trying to explain it. Brush you have a normal hairbrush, you can see the hair before the tip there. You can see that? So the hair before the tip, it will pull at the hair other than that and it will make the um, extension come out. So if you get a normal brush, it'll just rag at the part before the tip is actually adhere and it'll like rip your hair out your hair extensionist person should have one to sell if you do this but like literally you can, you can just hear it it just goes straight through it there's no pulling of the hair there's no matting of the hair and i did think at first oh my god it's another expense but it's literally or was it i don't know if it was 10 or 15 quid but like, I love this brush. It makes your hair feel so smooth as well. Next product I recommend is the Beauty Works or any hair product that is like a heat spray because you need to take care of your hair again. So this is the 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. So this one's a little bit thicker. Like, you've got to really shake it up. This eliminates sprays, restores shine, nourishes, replenishes oils, protects from heat, detangles, conditions, prevents split ends, enhances natural body, repairs dry, damaged hair. This is just made for hair extensions and normal hair as well, but 
and it's going to hydrate the hair whilst heat protection like a lot of people rave about this i was like you know what i'm going to get it it's a big bottle as well i think 250 mils so i don't use that much of it yet but every time i go in with hair straighteners or hair curlers this is what I use. This is the Beauty Works Restore Mask with vitamin E, 100% vegan, intense moisture. It does not lie. See how much I love it. This is the 100ml bottle. I got mine from just my look for £8 free delivery, so like literally eight quid. It's not expensive. She gave me a sample of it and my hair extension lady, and I thought I'll use it. I just didn't think much of it. I thought, oh, it's just like, like another hair mask. Oh, can I tell you now? Can I tell you? I will tell you my hair extensions after using that and I had them for two weeks. I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll just see what the mask is like. Might as well just take care of them. My hair extensions have never felt so soft after using that. And I honestly think it is meant for hair extensions. And it's like a moisturizing soft feel. Do you know your hair just feels nice and healthy? I just thought, oh my God, I can't believe that that mask has made my hair feel so like healthy and like it literally just make it feel nice and moisturized like that's how i describe it like there's there's no like dryness there's no frizziness like it just feels so smooth i didn't realize my hair was a little bit frizzy and then i used that and i thought oh wow so again and i use other products as well but i would definitely recommend those three you can put some on kalana but yeah those are the three products i would 100 percent recommend i stand by a hundred percent but yeah, that, I think that's about it with like the hair video. I will skip to the part where I show you what it looks like in five and a half weeks. So you can see how it grows out and that kind of thing. Here's my hair. So I can just part it kind of thing. So you can see here, that's my hair. And then about that, that's how much it's grown. And can you see? So that is how much it's grown off. They are all hanging on like that, like this one. It's hanging on by a thread. Can you see that? That's, that's the tip there. And then that's my hair that's hanging by a thread. But they do still hang on. So this is your sign if you've got short hair and you want in extensions in, you can do it. Just go to someone who does like short hair, specializes in short hair. And go get your princess hair. And that's all I've got to say in today's video. I'll see you in the next one.